Yo, welcome back to Da TV. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Right, right. Then I need you to go ahead, hit that bell. Right, right. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag Da Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin, okay? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, Shaggy, ma'am. Bam. Man, I know somewhere, Whoosh. Bam. But you know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. We don't cast. Last, last. Now everybody go to our breakfast. Shayo. So we lit y'all You already know Um You guys I'm in transition Alright I'm just in transition This is mentally Emotionally Physically Uh Financially Um Spiritually Did I say spiritually? Okay So we're grabbing the bull by the horns and we're riding this thing. You know, we're riding this thing. So right now, I am getting my emails out um, because we do have Chamber of Prayers tonight. Right, right. We have Chamber of Prayers tonight. Okay. And then, um, then I got to get things ready for a pop-up shop this weekend. Um, so this weekend is going to be very busy. Friday is mommy's birthday. Woo woo. Y'all already know Zo Lady. Um Y'all would never guess oh Zo Lady age, bruh. If I haven't said it already, I don't even recall. But Zo Lady birthday is Friday. Saturday I have a pop up. And Sunday I know there's a gender reveal between Saturday or Sunday, right? So I have the my mom's birthday, which is Friday. Um, we don't have, we don't even know what to do for her. Um, we don't even know what to do for her because this is a lady that has everything, y'all. Everything. The only thing she says she wanted, which is no pressure, is she wanted a new iPhone. So, we'll be going to go get that on her birthday. Um, so, I don't even know what to do. Um, so yeah, praise the Lord. Um, then Saturday we have the pop-up shop from 1, 1 to 5. And then with um, Bay Christian Bay, um, she's having a little get-together at her house later on that evening, which is Saturday. I know that there's a gender reveal. I don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday, but I have to look. Sunday, there is something I got to do Sunday I just can't remember. Let me look at my calendar. I know Sunday we got church, y'all. I know. I know Sunday we got church, but we're going to figure it out, right? So, um, y'all, the email I sent out was fire, okay? It was fire. Um, Because tonight in the Chamber of Prayers, we're going to go in depth about where it's at okay so um yeah so i know that um we're gonna go in depth about uh lodabar okay because y'all know um last vlog was about depression your girl was going through it but nonetheless, we are here. So I just wanted y'all to check out the um, emails the for the Chamber of Prayer. Um, so let's get focused. All right. So y'all see, and it says, come out of Loda Bar. And basically, stay in this place is detrimental to your mind, soul, and spirit. So we break down what Loda Bar is. How did I get here? And Chamber of Prayers tonight. Okay. Um, Y'all know I pray via on Zoom. So, you guys. So, we that email went out. If you are not um, subscribed, um, be sure to go to um, 
www.theoneelda.com and in the connect with us drop your email so that you can be added to our um not only for access to chamber of prayers but also our email um subscription um because i do send out encouraging emails right so um i kind of wanted to keep it simple today because like i said i gotta finish prep um, and then I'm going to get, um, pull out what, um, the inventory that I need for this weekend, have that pre-packed so that I'm not all over the place. Um, and yeah, so, but I wanted to encourage you, um, anybody because the month of May is also mental health awareness, right? And, um, it is a fight. To stay out of depression, to stay in your right mind, to live, you know, be whole, be healthy, be, and to be great. It is a fight for your life, okay? Because we know that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, all right? So, I encourage you to keep on fighting. I want you to know that I see you. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to be reminded that you are valuable, okay? Okay? And that you are needed and that you do serve purpose. All right. And you are on the mind of God. Why do I say that? God has little ways of just encouraging me and reminding me that he hears me, that he sees me and that I'm not forgotten. The other day I was driving and um, I went to go pick up one of the students and they handed me this little gift bag, right? It was a little gift bag. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it was just a cute way of putting the money, you know, to pay for transportation or whatever the case is. Um, but the but the parent proceeded to say, no, that's for you. And when I opened it up, it was a gift card um, to a restaurant that I have not yet tried. Right. And if you guys know me, then y'all know that I am a foodie. So I love to eat. So I just felt like, oh, my God, it was so unexpected. Right. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expect. I don't expect nothing, you know, from from the parents or whatever. But um, the fact that it was a gift card because I love gifts. That's my love language. Right. I love gifts. Then it was food on top of that. And then it was also to a restaurant that I have not yet tried, which is also on the list of restaurants that I wanted to try. Right. Because I, I've heard things about it, but I haven't gone yet. And I was just like, oh, my God. I was just like, you know, thank you, Lord. It just remind me that and I felt like it was God way of saying I didn't forget about you. Right. I didn't forget about you. And sometimes, you know, what we're going through can um, silence the voice of God or cause us to be desensitized uh, to the leading of the Holy Spirit. All right. So I want you to take a moment to just have a spirit of gratitude, right? Begin to tell God, thank you for everything that you have now. Let's not focus on what we don't have. Let's not focus on, you know, what is going on, but just Take a moment to tell God, thank you, because regardless if you can see it or not right now, you are standing in an answered prayer. You are standing in an answered prayer, right? So with that being said, I just want you to tell God, thank you. Just tell God, thank you. Just tell God, thank you, you know, and don't stay in that place. Do not stay in that place. Um, you guys, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. If y'all haven't checked out my website yet for the candles, look in the description box. Y'all gonna see it. Or, you know, if you feel like you want to rock with me in the chamber of prayers, because let me tell you something, we pray for real, for real. Okay, if y'all want to see that real serious side of me, because I don't play when it comes to the things of God, right? I know y'all hear me talk about faith. I know y'all hear me, you know, some y'all can hear it in my voice, right? Let me get comfortable. Cause I think I just want to talk. I was about to go pack, take y'all with me to go pack the candles, but I think I just want to talk. I know that y'all hear it in my voice. Um, yeah, I know that y'all hear it in my voice. However, let me make sure. I know that y'all, y'all hear the power in my voice. And I say that humbly, 
Um, but if you really want, if you are truly in need of breakthrough, if you are truly in need of deliverance, if you are truly um, needing to be uh, strengthened or you want to dwell in a community where we stand in agreement with one another, pushing one another, building one another, right, and interceding for one another, then my, my friend, then... I tell you, Chamber of Prayers is where it's at because we be lit. We be lit on Tuesday nights, right? So the first Tuesday is go for self. This is where we pray and we intercede for ourselves, right? Um, then on the second Tuesdays, we pray for families. Um, we pray for our loved ones. We pray for the, all the cousins, the aunties, the uncles, the brothers, the sisters, the in-laws. We pray for everybody, right? As we are led by the Holy Spirit, every third Tuesday, we pray for kingdom marriages and um, kingdom covenants. Okay, so marriages, um, you know, we pray to cover those that are married and the, and my single people in the chamber of prayers. Now I be giving some, I be giving some nuggets. Uh, we be dropping some gems, Holy Ghost, I should say, be dropping some gems and be helping out my single cousins in the chamber of prayers, right? Um, but we also pray for kingdom covenants. What am I saying? Um, whoever your Jonathan is to your David, um, because in anything that you are executing, right? We know that there is power in numbers, but we all need a Jonathan and, and sometimes the enemy will keep a Jonathan away from you so that you do not propel in ministry or propel in business the way that you should because of the lack of destiny helpers or causing friction between you and that destiny helper. So we cover that under the blood of Jesus. Um, especially if you do have your Jonathan, if you do not, then we pray for Jonathan to come. And on the fourth Tuesdays of every month is just straight prophetic flow. We flow with the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Um, it could be a prophetic teaching or it could be a prophetic word. I start prophesying and you know, we just get down in the chamber of prayer. So with that being said, get with it. You already know, get with it. Okay. Um, my website is in the description. Like I said, just drop your email and you will get the access. If you so happen to see this and it's not Tuesday, right? Then follow, you can check it on Instagram um, or just go to the website, drop it so that you will be there for the following Tuesday or get the information for the following Tuesday. But I want you to keep fighting, all right? Because... The kingdom suffer violent, but the violent take it by force, all right? We cannot continue to operate in a mediocre way. We cannot continue to settle uh, for what is given to us. You don't have to receive everything, you know, that's just given to you, um, you know, or be like, oh, that's the car. That's the hand that was dealt to me. Yeah, that may be the hand that is dealt to you. But however, when you're led by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will show you how to play that hand so that you don't stay in that low place. So it is a fight. Um, and it's just not only, yes, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but however, we got to have healthy mechanism. We got to have healthy habits on how to fight this thing. Um, depression or any mental battles, right? How are you feeding your mind? How are you feeding your body? How are you getting all this suppressed stuff out, right? Are you working out? Are you eating healthy? Are you speaking life? Are you praying? Are you fasting? What are you doing to fight or are you just taking the hits? This is something you really got to ask yourself, cousins. But y'all, I'm not going to talk y'all head off. You Y'all already know I ain't going to talk y'all head off. But um, just continue to rock with me. We drop a video every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. All right? So, and I got some content coming y'all way because, like I said, it's excellency all year. Okay? Hashtag excellency all year but i love y'all if you're not yet subscribed subscribe stay connected get connected rock with your girl you already know baby um but i love you be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every side mm -hmm.